Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel, 90% Native. I'm Michelle and I garden in Northern Virginia in Zone 7A. Today I am going to show you how I cold stratify native plant seeds, in particular Virginia bluebells. I was doing a video the other day, earlier this week, uh, where I was sowing uh, native plant seeds, Virginia bluebells, and um, I saved a couple packs of those seeds because I want to uh, cold stratify them inside using my refrigerator and my freezer versus putting them outside for cold stratification. A couple years ago, um, the first time I grew Virginia bluebells I feel like I had some better luck when I cold stratified my seeds in the refrigerator for 60 days and then had them germinate under light downstairs in my basement so um, I'm going to do that I'm going to cold stratify them for 60 days and then I am going to also do the fast forward cold stratification process where I put um, the seeds in the refrigerator for 24 hours and then the freezer for 12 hours and back and forth and um, I will do that for at least a week and then once that's done I will sew them and I will put them downstairs and have them germinate inside and then um, of course from my previous video I already have bluebells outside cold stratifying naturally so it'll be a good test to see which method works the best for future sewings because I, I really do want to get bluebells all over the place they're just so gorgeous if you ever have the opportunity to go to this park these two parks in northern virginia riverbend or a bull run in the early spring when they're blooming it's just a sight to see it's so 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 pretty stratification is the process whereby seeds require certain conditions in order to break their dormancy and germinate today we're specifically talking about cold stratification different plants need different amounts of time for cold stratification some need 10 days others need 120 days some need a cold period a warm period and then a cold period again and vice versa so it just depends on the seeds that you're sowing uh, the virginia bluebells that uh, we're cold stratifying today need a 60 day cold stratification i'm also throwing some scarlet sage in there as well and i'll probably do that for about um maybe 15 to 30 days the items that i use for cold stratification include organic coffee filters i use the organic coffee filters because it doesn't have any bleach or dyes or anything like that and and then I have a bowl of water, I have a plate, and then I have my seeds, scissors, and a Sharpie. And then also the baggie that I'm gonna put uh, the seeds in, or the, yeah, with the coffee filter. So first up, I should probably label the bags because by the time this is over, my hands are wet and then it gets all messy. So I'm gonna go ahead and label the seed bags first. I just happened to notice somewhere that it said uh, Scarlet Sage could use some cold stratification, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give it a try. Not only do we put the name of the plant, like what we're doing, you want to put the date. So today is the 20th. It's my bestie's birthday today. Happy birthday, Christy! And it's 1:20, and then I am gonna take it out in 60 days. So I'm gonna take it 2:20, 3:20. So March 20th, I'm going to take these out of the refrigerator. The, the baggies are labeled. And so now I'm ready to, let me go ahead and open up my first packet of bluebells. Virginia bluebells are a spring ephemeral. And that means that they emerge in the early spring and put on their show before the trees leave out. And then they die back very quickly. So they only have, they live their entire life cycle above ground only within a few weeks, but they're beautiful. They're absolutely gorgeous. Get your coffee filter and you, you want your coffee filter to be damp. You don't want it to be sopping wet. You just want it to be damp. So I'm going to have to wring it out a little bit. Yeah. 
you don't want like a puddle of water in your baggie or anything else like that. You just want like, uh, you can't really tell how wet it is <laughs> on the camera, but it's just like the whole thing is just slightly wet. It's not dripping. I can't really squeeze any water out of it, but it's definitely wet. So then I put, put it down on my plate, this wet coffee filter, and then I'm gonna take the seeds I'm gonna sprinkle them here on, just kind of like right around in the middle here. Okay. And then what I do, it's just, it's not right or wrong or anything, but I just go ahead, I'm gonna just sprinkle it with a little water. Okay, so what I do is then I just uh, fold it into a little square Okay, so these will be the ones that we do fast forwarding on. And I try and squeeze the air out of it. Another reason why you want to label the bags first. Okay, and that's done. So this is the fast forwarding cold stratification. So those will go into the refrigerator for 24 hours before I move them to the freezer. So now I'm working on the Virginia Bluebells that will cold stratify for 60 days in the, uh, just in the refrigerator. So I won't be putting them anywhere else. Okay, so this whole thing is wet. It's not sopping and it's not dripping. The seeds that you cold stratify, when you're cold stratifying for like 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, sometimes 120 days, I think it's a, a turtle head that takes um, 120 days. You wanna check on them every week or so. Cause if you start to see, you don't wanna see mold, you might have to kind of, um, if, if you start to see a little bit of mold, you might wanna take some of those seeds out or um, if, if it just, the environment seems too wet, you might wanna sop up some of that dampness or moisture that's on the coffee filter. But as, as long as this coffee filter here isn't you know, dripping wet, you should be fine. So again, I just fold it up into a nice, neat little square. And then Scarlet Sage, this is my first time sewing, or I'm sorry, the cold stratifying Scarlet Sage. I haven't done that before, but um, just wanted to give it a try because I read something today somewhere and I thought, well, let me just see, let me just see if I get better results. Although, um, you know, seeds are good, the seeds are good for so long. Even when they say they expire, they, you can use the seeds for years and years and years and years. This Scarlet Sage, I, I probably, I've had it for, probably four years. Okay. Oh, just a note, if, do you see this? It's such a beautiful seed pack, and it's from Ever, I got these from Everwild Farms, and Scarlet Sage isn't native here, it's native uh, further south, I think, like in Texas, but it is a great plant for the butterflies. The butterflies really love um, the Scarlet Sage, uh, but, Everwild Farms has these really neat seed packets. They're beautiful, number one. And they say the seeds in this gold vault packet will be viable three times longer than seeds kept in paper or plastic. I just really, really love their beautiful seed packets and, and they are very sturdy. Actually, let me do this because I don't know if I want to do all of them. I'll save some. And we are done. And since I have you, you know what? I think that I have iris seeds that are done being cold stratified. So I'll go ahead and um, pull those out and sew them while uh, you're here with me. I'm popping back to the front because I think I forgot to tell you a little bit about blue flag iris. So blue flag iris likes a um, medium wet to wet environment. It will take 
uh, full sun to part sun, like it can handle a little bit of shade. And it has beautiful blue iris blooms. And the blooms are loved by butterflies and hummingbirds. And the blooms are just really, really showy. Really showy for a native plant. So a great plant to have in a wet, sunny area or a wet part, part sun area. And they get to be about three feet tall. So I think I forgot to press record on well, I don't know what I forgot to record. I'll have to see when the video is um, downloaded, uploaded, whatever to my computer. So I may be taking this entire part out or you may just see a little bit about this. But if I recorded anything about the blue flag, blue flag iris, I cold stratified blue flag iris seeds from one of my own plants um, out in what I call the island garden. I put a little mesh bag with a, um, like a tie uh, when I saw the seeds starting to form and I kept that outside until that whole stalk was dried up and then I cut it cut the stalk and then these were the seeds right here and I did the fast forward cold stratification process in my refrigerator and my freezer and then I just put them here sewed them here in this a bootstrap farmer 10 by 10 10 by 10 container they uh, blue flag iris they need uh, 120 days of uh, cold moist stratification so i thought i would do that fast forward process because we're already in january now or almost over half of january the seeds are sewed in here don't know if i have that on video who cares now what i'm going to do is I am going to go get some chicken grit and or actually I think I'll use no I'm not going to use chicken grit I'm going to use coarse vermiculite the reason why I'm going to use coarse vermiculite instead of chicken grit is I want to save my chicken grit for the seeds that need light to germinate they are typically much smaller and I like to put the chicken grit over top of those because that chicken grits heavier and so it, it can keep it'll keep those tiny 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 little seeds in place a little better that's my theory anyway i don't even know if it's right or wrong but anyway that's just what i do uh, so i'm going to do that and then i'm going to put this in a, a bootstrap farmer 10 by 20 uh, flood tray and um, water it from the bottom so give me one second and i will show you all of that so here's my flood tray i already put a pitcher of water in here and Here's the 10 by 10 uh, C tray that I showed you. So I'm just gonna put this down in here. This has holes in the bottom. This 10 by 10 has holes in the bottom and then it will soak up, the soil will soak up the water from underneath so I don't have to water over top, which is kind of messy. Um, so that's done. And then I'm going to put some coarse vermiculite over top. Let me show you, can you see in there? I'm going to put the coarse vermiculite over top here and this will allow moisture it will allow moisture this will retain the vermiculite will help to retain moisture just do it like this I typically know when it's been watered enough because the vermiculite will t soak up some of the water and it'll turn a darker color of like this tan. Uh, so that's, that's usually my indication that everything is watered. So I am going to, oh, I actually need to do my tag. So this is blue flag. Iris. Okay, blue flag iris. Put my tag in here. And then in a few minutes I will take I will take this whole setup outside so that it can get really cold overnight. All these extra seeds here, which I have no idea if they're viable or not, I'm gonna go and put them, I'm just gonna throw them out into like a wet 
wet area of my yard and maybe maybe one will take maybe they won't okay guys that's it for now today i cold stratified bluebells and scarlet sage and then and showed you my process of how to do that and then i sewed up some blue flag iris which i think that i may have forgotten to record almost all of it but okay and uh, yeah that's it for today so thank you so much for uh, watching my video and if this content appeals to you please consider subscribing liking or sharing with your gardening friends that's it for now i will see you next time <music>